up everybody today is um sort of a, a tutorial video i guess um i'm gonna show you my route to doing planet namek and i sort of got the idea to um sort of like show the best quests in each area for people like that are new to final sin i guess or like trying to level the most efficiently uh and the most quick but this isn't really that video this is just like a, a daily quest guide I'm going to show you the fastest method to get all your daily quests done in Namek. And the only reason I'm doing this is because, when did you guess, it just works. Um, so, I obviously have someone helping me. This works in a public server too, really. So, go do Frieza. Yeah, obviously, because it gives the most XP. And if you have a helper, it's probably the easiest one because you don't have to move around or wait for anything to respawn. I forgot my build, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> all right, so now you go over to the strong frost demons. And I know that it's hard, but it gives a good amount of EXP. And if you're killing them uh, by yourself, they actually give a good amount of zunny too. Like watch, and this guy's got red ones. Okay, well I used a beam, so obviously it's not gonna give me much, but if I go base, and do this, they give 500 zunny and 10k exp. That's crazy, honestly. Um, one of the best NPCs to grind on if you can one shot them, for sure. Um, and now we just gotta wait. So, the, the reason why you shouldn't skip over on the frost demons is like, say you're doing all your dailies for like a week ish, may, maybe just say like it takes uh, about about a week or so to, to uh, get out of Namek from doing your dailies alone without the time chamber or anything. If you skip out on the strong frost demons over a week's time, that's about a million EXP that you're wasting out on. A little more, a little less, I don't really know, but just using quick maps here. Like, and a million EXP for this level is a, is a good amount. It really is, considering Frieza gives half a million for your daily. So, it's it's definitely worth just doing every quest. And that's another thing that I see a lot. Like, people are like, how do I level up that fast, you know? Um, I do every quest. It doesn't matter how much EXP it gives. Just do every quest. The only quest I ever skip out on Earth is like the, the annoying daily ones where it's like, kill five evil Namekians, five Saiyans, and five, like, Majins. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and I'd skip out on that one and the 20 cyber reds for obvious reasons because it's it takes so long but um in my live streams those are usually the only ones I skip out on and then the ranked ones because I'm too low Here, you see we're already done in that amount of time and now right back here um the Genyu Force quest which is the second best quest on Namek Especially because it's all boss fights and it gives a good amount of zunny. EXP, 300k, that's pretty good too for this level. Uh, and the first one you're going to go to is Raccoon. Raccoon is the first NPC you go to because I see a lot of different orders. Go to Raccoon and go to Birder. Uh, I'll explain why in just a second and why I do this. Actually, no, I can just explain it now while I'm flying over. Uh, I do this route because I do Raccoon first, obviously, as everybody does. But I go over to, to uh, Birder because there's a Birder quest, like, aside from this, where you have to kill two Birders. Um, so if he's, like, if I just finish it, and I, and I, you know, if, if I just finish the quest and Birder's not respawn yet, then it's obviously going to take some time. Uh... So I go to Jace because he's right next to Birder. Then I go over to Ginyu. Um because he's the next closest. And he's also the strongest, so uh just keep that in mind that he's the strongest. So if you want to go to Guldo first, then you can. Like if you're not getting any help like I am. Um and if you're not getting any help, I'll link a server in the description. They have low level helpers. Um that are that are on. Like some sometimes at least so if and it's a carry discord as well so if you ever need carries and top or broly 
they'll help. Um, and it's my friend's clan too, so just wanted to help them out a little bit because they've helped me. So now the last one's Guldo. He's the weakest one. He's done for. Now I fly over to the, uh, what are they? The Rogue Namics. Yeah, uh, the Rogue Namics, they're pretty easy too. Um, I actually just like this quest a lot because I have nostalgia for it. Because it was the first ever quest I ever attempted on Namek when it first came out, like way back in the day. That was crazy. <laughs> the day Namek came out, I was level 99 too, so I, had, I grinded up my level, did my dailies, you know, as you should. And, you know, I got there and I tried this quest and I was shocked at how much EXP it gave. And they were difficult, yes. Um, and if you're wondering why they're spamming so much, it's because they're a key damage android. So, they're spamming a lot of reds because they don't do a lot of damage. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it, really. So, the reason why the, the rogue namics uh, next, after the Ginyu Force, is because it's right over there. And Birder and the Rock are closer. But if I go over to the rogue namics I finish this, I can head right over to the rock in literally two seconds, you know, doing the rock Johnson over there. And then I head over to right behind, or right beside the rock is, um, over there, there's Birder, the Birder quest. So, uh, yeah, that's, it, it just ties into itself really easily. And it's just pretty quick, I think at least, you know, how many, how much time are we at now? Um, seven minutes in, and I'm almost done. I have Senzu beans, I forgot, but I, I tend to forget if, when I have beans if I'm low level. But there. That's the end of the quest. Uh. We could do the big rock. Meteor crash that. Let my friend take it out and one shot at it. Okay, nice. That's an easy quest because it doesn't fight back. Um, it's a habit to go over and look at my my stats, by the way, every time I level. It's literally a habit. Alright, this is the last name at daily. Um, it's the kill bird or twice. It's pretty easy. 100k XP, 1k Zenny. Not, not that good, but not that bad, especially for this level. And if you look at my level currently, I don't need that much to level up. Just like half a EXP bar-ish. So... Everything counts, really. Everything counts. And it doesn't take that long to do your dailies. Even without help, it doesn't take that long to do your dailies. Maybe, like, 30 minutes-ish. At, at absolute most, an hour. And that's one hour a day playing this game. Like, that's not that bad, really. Especially if you enjoy the game. And if you are trying to get through Namek as fast as possible. And if you're watching a video about a Roblox game, you probably enjoy this game or used to, or you just enjoy me, which, you know, that works too, but, uh, yeah, there's one more birder, and then, that's every Namek daily in less than 10 minutes, so, that's unfortunate that it's less than 10 minutes, because now I can't put in a, a mid-roll, but, you know, it'd be like that sometimes, there, there is it, there it is, um, I had to double EXP on, obviously so it gave me a little bit more but i gained around 10 levels i'd say oh no 12 levels it says right here i just want to see my stats real quick so i'm waiting for this jar to go away hold on can you suck it now and this just goes to show like in a private server how long the reds actually do last for it's crazy all right There we go, an equal amount of melee and key max. So that's it. Um, I'm trying to level my mod and it's prestige G currently. You can see I have unstable. So yeah, that's that's it. I already set already oh shit, it's 18 seconds until the mid roll. That's unfortunate. So just look at my margin for the next 10 seconds. 